Blood of the Dead has one of the most tedious side easter eggs ever, the golden spork knife. And today I will show you how you can get it in one complete video. Now, to get an overview of what you have to do to get this spork knife, I made a checklist of all the quests that are necessary. Basically, you have to get the health retriever and the upgrade and you also need to upgrade the spoon. Once you have the golden spork, you can begin working on getting the golden spork knife. For this side easter egg, I highly recommend using the perk Eternal Razor. So begin the game on normal difficulty. It doesn't work on casual or custom games. And fill up the three dog heads around the map. One is in the new industries area, one is in the prison next to the Mose wall by, and the third one is next to the warden's house. Kill only one zombie at once to feed the dog. You are finished when he disappears. Now you can collect the health retriever in a fast travel cage between the showers and the warden's house. I also advise you to get a free Blundergut 1 weapon at this point. You will also have to upgrade it later. I do assume that you know how to upgrade the Blundergut. If you don't know how to upgrade it, I will have a link in the description. Back to the Spork Knife. Next, work on getting the spoon. Use your shield to get the coat in a room where the tonic perk is. Put it in by spirit blasting the terminal. You also need to spirit blast the crane in the dogs area. When a crane moves to you, use the health retriever and collect the spoon. Now you have completed two quests, so you can work on getting the redeemer and the golden spork upgrade. To upgrade the health retriever to the redeemer, Get kills with the tomahawk at the recreation yard until you hear a completion sound. By the way, you can use other weapons or leave the area if you're getting overrun. Next, you have to find a blue dog symbol around the map. It can be at the recreation yard or the underground area or next to the warden's house. I will have gameplay of the locations in my guide, so feel free to pause the video at any time if you need to. And I think there are 10 locations for the dog head, and you have to look through your shield to find it. And the next step would be to throw your tomahawk at the symbol, but I advise you to begin on working on getting the spoon upgrade, because you will need your health retriever for that, and if you throw it on the dog symbol, you will lose it. Alright, to upgrade the spoon, you need to interact with the bathtub in the infirmary. Next, you need to get kills with the magma get or acid get on the roof. You will be able to drain the blood from the bathtub if you have killed enough zombies. So do that and shoot the water tower. You need to shoot it 4 times. Shoot it from the roof, 2 times at the catwalk and once next to the powerhouse area. The tower will collapse and you can collect the golden spork by throwing your retriever at the center of the broken water tower. Now I advise you to continue the health redeemer upgrade. So throw your retriever at the dog symbol and wait for the next dog round. During the dog round you have to shield blast the invisible dog. Use your shield vision to find him. He can spawn all around the map. After that you can collect the redeemer. However, if you don't get a dog round, you could also work on getting the next upgrade for the spork. It's all about efficiency at this point. So therefore, get around 100 melee kills next to this blood tub in the west side area. You don't have to get kills right next to it. As far as I know, you can also get melee kills next to the perk machine and it still counts. But as long as you have the eternal racer perk, you shouldn't have any problems. After 100 kills, you hear a completion sound and you can interact with the blood tub. Now you need to find 3 colored rocks around the map. You have to use the health redeemer to pick them up. The first one is outside of this window in the prison, the next one is on top of the warden's house and for the last one you have to activate the crane again and use your redeemer to collect the stone. After you have all 3, put them under each trap around the map. You can see that the rocks will be placed on the ground. The next step is to get trap kills for each stone. You need to activate each trap a few times until the rocks transform to a small gem. This can take a few rounds. You can do this in any order. But after you have all three stone gems, 
use the fast travel to get to the west side area. Before the gate closes, throw your redeemer to collect this golden nugget. Now you can place all of your items in this transformation machine and get your new knife. At this point there is only one last upgrade left. For that you have to put in your new melee weapon in the blood tub again and kill a Brutus with only your normal knife. I highly recommend spawning in a Brutus by putting in the code 666 in a terminal and then shoot his helmet off to weaken him. But watch out, don't kill him or otherwise you have to waste rounds for one to spawn in and then you have to kill all the zombies except one and the Brutus of course and then you need to shoot off his helmet again and yeah, definitely did not happen to me. But bring Brutus to the catwalk and knife him next to this sign. If you do it right, you can finally collect your golden spork knife from the blood tub. This weapon seems to one hit kill every zombie on any round, even a Brutus, so it's definitely worth the effort. Thanks for watching, I see you next time.